So this equation here has three roots, but if you make a wrong decision from the start, then you'll only get one of the roots. So we have to be careful and uh, take the steps very well. So what you have here is 5 into x squared minus 4 equals x squared minus 4 times the exponent of 7 minus x. And of course, so the wrong part comes here. If you just cancel this out with this, which is mathematically correct, but then you'll have actually eliminated the two roots already from this equation. So you wouldn't want to do that. What I'm going to do instead is to bring this right over here to the left-hand side. So I write this as 5 into x squared minus 4. Then I bring all this part, this side, so that's minus x squared minus 4 into exponent 7 minus x. And of course, we just have a 0 over on the right-hand side. Now from here, you can see that this is a common factor. So I can have that out, x squared minus 4. So I factorize that out. So I remain with 5 minus exponent 7 minus x equals to 0. So I can either have this equal to 0 or this equals to 0. Let's begin with this, x squared minus 4. So this is either this equals to 0, in which case, of course, uh, you can see that x is going to be, if I take this on the other side, I'll have plus or minus 2 as the uh, first two roots to this equation. So the second part, I'm going to take this now, 5 minus exponent 7x, so this is the other part, it's not 7x, 7 minus x equals to 0. Uh, so what do we do here then? I'll take this to the right hand side, 5 equals exponent 7 minus x. And to get rid of the exponent, you just have to introduce logs on both sides, specifically the natural log. So the natural log of 5 equals the natural log of 7 minus x. So if you're familiar with the laws of logarithms here, oops, this is actually exponent, uh, exponent of 7 minus x. If you're familiar with the laws, you just see that this is going to come down here. So the natural log of 5 equals 7 minus x times the natural log of e. By definition, this is 1. So we'll just have natural log of 5 equals 7 minus x. And from here, we can compute what x is. So finally, the third value of x here is uh, going to be 7 minus natural log of 5. And you can compute that on the calculator. I guess it's something approximately to 5.39. So those are the three roots of x plus or minus 2 and then 5.39. Thanks for watching this video. If you find this helpful, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel to see more videos. Uh, hit the notification bell to get notified every time I upload a new video. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.